Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Last week I shared a video that featured beginner sewing patterns that are actually cute and if you missed that one I'll be sure to link it below. This week I thought it would be fun to do a roundup of sewing patterns that stand out because they have really unique details. So things like pin tucks or pleats or interesting construction, just design details that make these sewing patterns really unique and stand out amongst the plethora of sewing patterns that are available to us. So I just wanted to feature a few that were really intriguing to me and hopefully you'll find some inspiration for your upcoming sewing projects as well. If you've tried a few basic beginner sewing projects and you're looking to kind of branch out a little bit, maybe learn some new techniques that you haven't tried before, stick around. <laughs> Also, this is a good time to say hello and welcome. If you enjoyed today's video, please do consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons below. Now let's go ahead and get into the patterns. Okay, first up, I wanted to highlight Puff and Pencil. This is a really cool pattern company in that they offer sort of a design your own pattern option. I'll be sure to put a couple of images on screen here to show you what I'm talking about, but in particular, what stood out to me is this top pattern where you kind of start with a base for the top, but then you get to choose which sleeve option you would like, which collar, and it's really customizable, which I think is really cool and unique. I don't think that I've seen that before in sewing patterns that are available. Kind of pick and choose your own features and then put it all together to create the pattern that you want. I thought that was a really unique design idea. So I wanted to throw that on the list if you haven't seen Puff and Pencil before. Really cool modern designs. They feel a little bit like a nod to the 90s, some of the styling. But yeah, there's a really cool top option. You could also kind of use the same base to make a jacket. Definitely worth checking out. Secondly, I wanted to highlight the modern sewing company Sienna Dress. I've talked about this on my channel before. I have made and love this pattern and what I think really makes it stand out design wise is the way that it's constructed. The bodice of the dress is made up of gosh I think seven different panels and each of them individually feature a large number of pleats and like pin tucks that are sewn down. Um, so there's a large number of pin tucks that go all the way around the bodice of the dress and then they sort of open out at like a dropped waist upper hip level and it creates a really cool silhouette and it looks really modern and detailed as well. So if you haven't tried pin tucks before, you will get a lot of practice with this pattern and it's a construction and a styling that I think looks really elevated and something that I haven't seen on other patterns before. I also wanted to highlight the Sew House 7 Burnside bibs. I think that as far as bibs or overall patterns go, the way that the straps are attached are really unique on this pattern. The straps sort of go through like a casing at the lower back and it creates opportunity to have them straight or you could crisscross them. You can adjust how tight the bibs are or how relaxed you want to wear them, which I think is really practical and really cool. And yeah, it's just a really unique design that definitely stands out amongst the, the bib overall patterns that are available. And again, I, I really like patterns that are versatile. And I think that if you can adjust the way that you wear something to suit different styling, different layering, how fitted or loose you want the garment to be. I think that adjustable garments are really, really useful as well as really cool designs. Another pattern that stood out to me as having really unique details and construction is the assembly line barrel dress. Um, I've seen a few ready to wear garments that have this sort of tulip shaped sleeve and I think it is a very modern cool design feature as well as the sort of structural tulip shape of the dress overall. The barrel dress. It's really cool and really modern and also looks really classic. I think it would be really fun to make this in sort of a sheer fabric and layer like a slip dress underneath. 
yeah, I think it's really, really cool structural design and a unique dress option. Another pattern that has really cool structural lines in its design that stood out to me is the Itch to Stitch Sentosa Top. There are a lot of basic sleeveless top patterns available, but I really like the structural details of this one. I think that the little pleats that go across the front of the bodice are really unique and cool and again a very modern elevated design for what is essentially a, a simple pop. <laughs> so yeah, it's one that was new to me. I hadn't seen it before and when I came across it, it really stood out as having a really cool elevated design. Another top pattern that really caught my eye is the Modern Sewing Company French Smock. Just love the Modern Sewing Company patterns for their attention to detail specifically. I feel like the details are what make their patterns. And so this one has a really unique sort of bib-like pattern piece at the front. And then you can either have buttons or a zip there as a closure. And I think this is a really good opportunity to play with pattern or stripes. And it's a really good opportunity to feature contrasting top stitching. I'll try to find an image of the white version that she made with the red top stitching. I think that looks really great. And again, you could play with fabrication. It could be a really lightweight cotton top, or there's a corduroy version that she made that has a zip. And it's just a really unique design that I haven't seen in another sewing pattern before. So I thought that it would be a good one to bring up in case you haven't seen it before. I think this one has really cool, really elevated details. The next pattern I want to feature is the Madswick Studio Zamora skirt. You've probably seen this one. I feel like I've seen a lot of people making it on social media. But it has a really unique sort of layers of pleats and tucks and gathers, and it creates a really interesting silhouette. I really love the white sample that she made because it really features all of these different design details. And there are a lot of simple elastic waist skirt patterns out there, but this one really stands out to me for the design details. I think that it's really elevated and cool and while it may be particularly on trend, I think a long white skirt in the summer, it's currently summer, right? But I think it's a classic design that you could wear year after year. So I wanted to feature that skirt pattern as well. And then I found a couple of patterns for bottoms that I really like. The first being the Thread Theory Morden Work Pant. These are a really cool classic kind of workwear pant design and I really love all of the pockets and the way that you could customize them. Again, another great opportunity for top stitching, which I love. And I know that cargo pants sort of had a moment recently, but I think this is a classic. What really makes it is the attention to detail. All of the little details make it a really cool design. Another great pattern to consider. Another pant pattern that I really like for its design details is the Elizabeth Suzanne Clyde pant, work pant. Um, these have a really interesting construction where the front and back and sides are all separate panels that are sewn together with flat filled seams. So again, you could really play with top stitching, but it creates these really deep sort of crescent shaped pockets on the sides that are really iconic to her brand and it's just such a cool detail. It's a really unique design and construction and I really love how modern the end result is. I think these look really great when they're sewn up in a heavier canvas but they also work really well in linen so another great pattern to consider. So in last week's video where I featured beginner sewing patterns, I mentioned Titka Studio. I want to feature another one of their patterns because they're just so well designed and because I really do love their designs and their attention to detail in particular. So today I want to highlight the multi-pocket grocery tote is what it's called. It does have sort of a simple tote bag silhouette, but what really makes it is all of the pockets. And I think it would be really easy to customize it. I think this would be a great project bag if you're a knitter or for sewing supplies. You could really customize it to suit 
everything that you need to store in all of these different pockets. So I think it would be a great project bag and I wanted to highlight it because the construction is really cool and I love the strap detailing. It's another great bag option. And I want to end today's list with a free pattern. This is actually one that I recently came across I hadn't seen before and it's the matchy matchy ballet bow skirt. I really love the black sample that they sewed up. It looks like it's made in sort of a crispier cotton, so it has really nice structure and shape to it. And what makes it really unique, of course, are these quite large bows that join the front and the back panels at the sides. I think it's a really modern, really cool silhouette and something that I hadn't seen before and really playful and fun for summer too. So if you're, you know, into the bow... <laughs> bow trend. It's really feminine, but I do think it's timeless. I do. Yeah. And I think if you sew it up in a neutral, like a black or a white, it could be a really versatile piece in your handmade wardrobe. So those are just a handful of patterns that really stood out to me for their unique design details. I'm sure there are more that we could talk about, but those are the ones that I wanted to share today. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Let me know in the comments below what sewing project you're working on right now. Let me know if you've made any of these before. If you enjoyed today's video, please do consider giving it a like and a subscribe below. If you'd like to see more of my handmade wardrobe, go ahead and check out this video. And I will talk to you guys very soon.